Hey YouTube, I'm stuck in traffic so I thought I'd do another video for you guys. I was doing a search this morning like most of us do on YouTube and I was looking for the topic of YouTube strikes and I was doing a filter for like the month versus the week and you know trying to get the most latest recent one and there was one video that caught my eye and it was a young kid. He looked Hispanic, Filipino or something. Anyway, long story short, he had like 30 subs and whatever video he did which I didn't even research into it further but YouTube took it down for some type of issue against the policies right there are community guidelines and uh, you know the way this this young person I'll say not even a young man just young person reacted he was like on camera he's all like I woke up this morning and I'm like, what the fuck? YouTube took down my video. They gave me a strike. Oh my God. And he's just, you know, being ridiculous like young people do. You know, just over dramatic. Like, dude, calm down. Calm down. And I say, and I say, young man, young person, really young person, not even a man yet. I'm thinking this kid hadn't even experienced real world stuff. I mean, like being responsible, paying taxes, having a car note, having health insurance, you know, I mean, real big problems, like everyday world problems, being responsible, you know, but you know, when you're young, it's all about fun. You know, you don't think about, oh, I didn't think about renter's insurance or car insurance and I can't do that without that. Oh, I didn't know that. And it's just... You know, just a young person, and I thought, this is this is the mentality, even for some adults out there. I've seen some adults act like little kids because they cannot get their way. In fact, I saw a video last night, and it was a uh, road rage. It caught my attention. I saw I was going through some different videos, and this one big, red-headed, burly man, he said he was ex-military. I mean, it was a big dude. I mean, big dude, like... When you see a guy with like Popeye, Popeye arms, big old beard, probably like 6'3", 6'4", uh, easy, 250, 260, uh, you think twice about uh, picking a fight with someone like that. Apparently some, a young person cut him off and his girlfriend was filming it. She was in the passenger seat and here comes this guy around the corner. He's like, what the fuck? And he hit the window and he's, you know, just cursing the guy out because apparently... The guy, the the redheaded guy in the SUV, he wanted to pass the young guy up. The young guy was like being a dick, I guess. Like, nope. You're gonna... So it made so he, the, so the the big the big redheaded dude said, you know, you made me swerve off the off the road. I'm like, no, you did. I'm thinking, yeah, the the young kid was probably being an asshole, but ultimately you're behind the wheel. You control it. You either just have to sit your ass there, like many of us do. Like this guy won't move out of the way. And just deal with it. And yes, you get pissed off, road rage, but you got to control it. And some people don't know how to control it. And I and I thought about this guy. I thought, you know, he's been in the military. Thank you for all you military folks out there. But I've seen some military folks not, n not know how to deal with everyday society life. Because they're just, they're used to being a hammer. There's a nail, boom, hit it. There's a nail, boom, hit it. And... It's so simplistic that when they come back home, it's like, there's all these rules and why is everything so complicated? It's easy, just hit it, just move it from there to there. And it's like, it doesn't work like that. And unfortunately, a lot of our military people come back home and they don't know how to deal with that. They don't know how to deal with rules and society. I'm not putting military down, but that is a fact. There's a lot of military people out there that just have a hard time it's not impossible. I'm not saying that they, they can't function. It's just there's some that just don't know how to deal with it. And going back to how this ties into my story is that a lot of the younger people, whether they're military I'm talking about or just young people, they live in a society where just everything is easy and everyone has a voice and we can speak our mind, right? We can rant and raid and, and, we, and we look at them like, what the fuck is wrong with this person? Like, act right. And I've said it before, and that is when you present too many options for people, 
when you present too many choices, you've just complicated their life. All right, let me know what you think. Red October out.